Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. We're going to start off by showing you how you can roll cut a pork loin so that you can stuff it and roll it up and then you get a beautiful spiral pattern. First thing we're going to learn how to do is to roll cut our pork loin. So come along with me and I'll show you how we do that. I have a half of a whole pork loin um, that I purchased. I actually purchased, if you believe that, I mean, this literally was that long. Sorry. What? You have half of a whole. I have half of a whole. I do. See, like I'm half and yeah. you're half and together we're a whole. That's true. Get it? That's okay. True. All right, so this is half of a pork loin, um, an entire pork loin. So what you want to do is you want to determine how thick you want your, your roast to be. And I'm going to kind of start here. The other thing you need besides the pork loin is a very sharp knife. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that um, you just gradually take your knife like so. And you're going to open it up as you go. I'm not quite there yet. The meat will actually let you know when it's ready. You can see. Like this. And then you just continue opening it up like you were making you are opening up a roll of paper towels, okay? Just like that. And then, if it's a little thick in some places, you can actually take this and um, and smack it with the bottom of a clean cast iron skillet, maybe cover it with some plastic wrap and even it out a bit, but it really isn't necessary. But then what you can do is you can stuff this, which is what we're going to do, and then when you stuff it and you roll it up and then you can tie it and it'll have a beautiful spiral pattern to it when you slice into it. And that's what we're getting ready to do next. So stay tuned for my next video where we will be making an apricot stuffed and glazed pork loin out of this roll cut pork loin. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareenSKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating! <laughs>